Do you have Consecrate? How long does Consecrate last? I think it's only a couple hours a level. So, ten hours. Okay, so that's enough time to get a long rest in. Sorry, twelve hours. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, it's two hours a level. You have a plus 19 in your knowledge religion? Yeah, he's yes. an intelligence-based religious character. There's a reason he's got a D6. So, a Consecrate uh, will nullify the uh, effect, obviously, for the duration um, and create an area where the negative energy uh, doesn't exist. But unless you Consecrate the entire area, it'll uh, continue to seep back in. So, how... How much of the area would we need to... Well, I don't think that would be possible for us to consecrate the entire area because it probably spreads well beyond just the barracks, right? Well, the issue here is that this building contained powerful undead. There's no undead on around the building that are uh, a perpetual issue. Oh, so we would just need to make get the whole building consecrated. How many yeah. times a day can you cast it? I can only do it four times a day. So if you did it four times on the top floor, you could get most of the top floor. We could just wait a couple. We could just do another day of... And then you just have to do each building. Each building you can do individually. Yeah, I'm all for doing... doing that, spending a couple days to get this place cleared up so that we have a base of operations. Um, I can, let me check. I don't think I could help you right away. We'd have to level up again because I don't think I took it, but I think that that's level four druid spell anyways. So I don't know that I can even help. No, it would be a level three druid spell. Might be oh, overkill yeah, for I'd, you to take it, though. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense for both of us to have it, but I was just thinking in the short term, but we should probably consider this long term. But I think we could. you could probably do it given a day per building or uh, a day for the big building and a uh, one day for all four smaller buildings. Would the stairs that connect the big building to the little building stop it from being able to... Like, would he need to consecrate all four buildings and the big area in order to actually remove it? Yeah, because all four buildings were uh, filled with undead. The good thing work is if... it's a 20-foot radius, so... Uh... It goes in all directions, so. Yeah, would it work if he did this room first? And I think he could get most of it, um, if not the whole thing. Rested for eight hours and then did the other four, because at that point, it, it, would, it would still be up for four hours. Yeah, he could definitely do it over the course of several days. <clears throat> We may as well blow that time. We have, I think we all have shop items that are in the works, or at least I do. I'm still trying to price out those bracers. Well, what's the duration on the spell? It's around a level. Which okay, do you tight. want it to be permanent? Yeah, it'd be nice to be permanent if we're fighting this many undead. So I, I see the cost if it's measured in round, multiply the cost by four. Use activated or continued spell effects. Spell level times cash level times 2,000 gold points times mod. I think that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, it's the uh, continuous one. 
So spell level three times caster level is five for that, or would it be caster level with the person making them? No, you could do it as uh, it's a first level spell, right? Third level spell. Third level spell? Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought it was a first level spell. Or second. It's a second level spell. Sorry. Not first. Second. The spell levels two times cash level, which would be three. Yeah, if it's a second level spell, the minimum caster is three. So that right there is six times, times 2,000. 2, is uh, 12,000 and then times four on top of that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I know, that was my point. It is ridiculously expensive to get a spell that lasts around a level to last forever. Okay. Maybe maybe look at getting it... Uh... How much was it? 12,000, you said? 12,000 times four. Oh, 48,000. 48, Holy crap. I I would just buy a at that point I'm just gonna buy a better bow and do more damage. Buy an undead bane bow at that cost. Yeah, but an undead bane bow doesn't give you your sneak attack. But once I can once I can cast it as a move action will be will be good. Which I believe is when I can cast fourth level spells because fast spell is I believe plus two right. So are you good with us spending a few days here while you can while your character consecrates the tower? Yeah, I got no problem with that. Right. How many days would you say it would take, Joe? John, not Joe, John. Um Too many days. It depends on how many spells he's gonna cast. It's gonna take four spells at least to cover the top floor, and then probably two two spells per building. I can dedicate my level threes as well, so that gives us seven a day. Yeah, so you can do most of it in one day. Oh, yeah, that works, and then so it would be a two-day thing then? If it's a two-day two, two thing we're doing, or is it longer? There are a couple of options for your grave strike. Um, one is to do it as a uh, uh, what you would call it a charged item, a command word one. Yeah. The math is the same except it's eight thousand or eighteen hundred instead of two thousand, but that's for five charges, and you can just set it to one or two charges, and it's you just divide it by that amount. Okay, and that's per day. Yeah. Okay. And obviously, uh, casting the spell is a standard action, which kind of sucks, but um, you could just cast the spell when you know you're going to fight undead. Yeah, that's true. I'm also looking at maybe, what is it, fast spell, or is it, um, it's quick, is it quick or fast that's the move action spell? Fast is the move action one, but you need to be able to cast fifth level spells to do that. Oh, it's a plus three. It's plus three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can't. Yeah, just it's cast. a first level cleric spell. So there's one way you could get around it is you get go to the church and get them to make it for you. Oh, okay. That would reduce the cost by significantly, because um, then you'd be four thousand as your base times four, which is only sixteen thousand. And that's for use. That's for uh, command word. Yeah, that's for the continuous one. No, only that's not bad, but that's still quite expensive. I might. Yeah, sixteen cast. grand's a lot. Yeah, especially at fifth level. Like that's more money than you should have. Yeah, but it's something you could save up for. I think the better option here is if we're we're probably going to be fighting undead still when we when I get to uh, when I get fifth level spells. So 
assuming you guys want to stay in this and do this forever, I didn't know how long you guys were going to explore the ruins for. Obviously, the wizard would be happy if you just keep going. And uh, it's an entire city, so it could take you months or even years to uh, survey it all. How much gold are we getting from the split of items right now? Uh, we get so we split four ways. Um, so depending on how it all well, depends on how much we go back with. I think the most we've gotten back from a split was four thousand each. That's actually perfect. I can buy a dark wood bow. Is with there with the wizard who is helping well, us be able? Right to... now we wouldn't be able to because we don't have. Speaking of which, I need to multi I need to do the two more of the uh, Herkuvas. Have any plans on going back? Because I could. It'd be nice to pick up a darkwood short bow, and I can start using gold and putting make that my item familiar and start putting stuff into it with the gold I have. I don't know that we would get. Um... Four grand right away. Well, back. you guys just killed four Hikuvas, and they're like five grand a piece. Now you only yeah, we have a total of five Hikuva loots right now. You have five? Five total right now that we haven't turned in. Oh, okay. You must have one left over from one of the other towers. Yeah. That's what it was. Is there any way of contacting the uh, wizard? Uh, no, the only way we had is going is teleporting back. And you gotta keep in mind that that's also five hundred gold when we teleport back to. Okay, so what's your plan? Spend two days um, consecrating the barracks, and then what are you doing? Uh, we could... I mean, have we found a map of the town yet? Uh, no, you don't have any maps as of yet. Does anyone have geography? Well, it wouldn't it be more like a I, local or something like that for a town layout? I got, I have every... I've got I everything. Have, I've got everything, too. Well, you guys could just start mapping out the ruins, so you have... Uh, a map to reference. Yeah. I'm thinking more so trying to get a map of the city, though, so that we could um, know where some of the more uh, important buildings were. Like, where's, where was the capital? Where were some of the admin buildings? Uh, where would the most of the diplomatics have gone? Because, I mean, he's looking for history, and that, those are typically the pl best places to go for that, uh, that in libraries. So that's why I was looking for a map, because if we can get a map that shows us where that stuff is, it will be a lot easier for us to find... Uh, some of the stuff he wants, right? And he's since he's the one who's paying us. No, that's true. Unfortunately, there aren't any uh, maps of the area because it's a lost city. Yeah, where would we be most likely to find one within the city, though? Is my um, question. After six hundred years, if there was a map that was intact, it would have to have been stored in. Like some kind of uh, like almost magical type situation. Um, a library might have uh, maps up at a high enough level that they didn't get flooded. Um, and the city planning office might, but considering the water levels inside the city, most of the um, low-lying buildings are 
going to be flooded. And wet paper does not keep for very long. No. Any chance that the historical period would have had any stone-based maps, like even if they were just decorative? Yeah, you might be able to find uh, some murals and uh, things like that inside buildings that you could use as a uh, reference. And you get, guys have recovered some sealed cases that had uh, paper documents in them. It's just not common for basically non-valuable items like that to be stored in uh, some kind of super protective uh, storage. Yeah. You, I mean, uh, thinking about it, you'd think it would be something we consider important as a map of the town, something, some sort of historical document to have throughout it history so that other people we could look back at it and see how the town's evolved but I, I guess even in modern days we don't usually even care about it that much yeah if you go to a library and look up old maps of your city you'll find them in some kind of filing cabinet but if the library got flooded the filing cabinet would be filled with mush exactly I mean in modern days now the internet will help us log that but the internet's not permanent either if it ever goes down we're just, things are lost so yeah, that's a good point. I don't know. I was I was hopeful that we could find one, but it, it doesn't sound like there's a good chance of that. Yeah, you you would have to search around in the city and stumble across one. There wouldn't be an obvious place to look. Um, libraries would be a good starting point. Um, any kind of uh, municipal hall would be a good place to look for maps. Okay. Um inside this area were there any tables that uh seem to have survived the years and aren't completely decayed no nothing in here is really uh functionally usable are there any trees nearby no this we have to go back to the swamp, swamp for it yeah you'd have to go back to the swamp to harvest wood those uh admin buildings we were at still had some furniture that worked right yeah that one building that you were in was very well sealed um, you're not really sure why, but, uh, there was a lot of material in there that was, uh, very well preserved. Okay. Uh, well, he's doing a consecration. Would I be able to go out and grab some of that furniture and bring it back here? Looking to bring back like a table or a desk? Sure. Okay. Uh, I'd put it in the middle of the table and lay out some parchment and I would see if these guys could help start drawing up a map for us. Okay. Well, you guys would have to do a survey of the area and start uh, taking some measurements for the distance between the buildings and whatnot, but um, anyone with geography can make a uh, cartography uh, check to uh, make a map. You guys know the general area fairly well. You've been back and forth through it uh, like a dozen times. Has there been anything that we've learned valuable about the history of this town and how it got flooded in the first place? Well, you know that it was just a weird uh, geological event where the the ground shifted and it just sunk. And... Oh, just more of an ecological uh, Travis tragedy? Yeah, it was, it's just a geological thing. Like, there's lots of places in the world with the ground sinking and the ground's rising. Um, nobody's done any real research on what the cause of the sinking was. Um, it could just be that the land itself was built on uh, very porous uh, foundation. Like, the problem they're having in uh, Miami right now is that the city's built on sand and the sand is very porous so when the tide comes in it doesn't matter how many dikes you have up the water just goes right underneath and into everything yeah yeah and then there's many cities built in on swamps that have issues major issues with sinkholes and things like that because it's just not good good land yeah this was a very thriving agricultural um community which tells you that the soil was very rich um, 
and that could been could have been the precursor to it just slowly over time compacting to the point that the ground level lowered and lowered until it became a basin that just filled up with water. Well, I wouldn't expect, uh, explain all the the undead that like the drowned where they would die while drowning because that would assume that it happened that it killed many people and if it was a slow process they could have left it would have been more of a instantaneous tragedy such as pompeii with the volcano instead it would be something big like that that would cause like a dam bursting or something similar to that that would cause the flooding here that would cause so many deaths due to the drowning though well i think you guys are aware that um there was a long build-up to the sinking. And one of the reasons that the city ended the way it did is because the water level on the outside was rising, but the walls were keeping it out so that the city was fine. And it just kept getting deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And people, by the time people realized how bad it was there was no way to get out and a lot of people starved to death not many people actually drowned there just wasn't any food and there wasn't any way to get out so i caught the tail end but this ocean just it, the ocean was just rising and rising and that's why the city's under no it was actually fresh water that was coming in it was just runoff in the spring but every year more and more water was pooling up and then one year it just didn't drain. They had a yeah. big flood in the spring and they, everyone was just waiting for it to recede and it just kept getting higher and higher and higher. So it, it's like this place was built inside of a, a massive lake basin and, it, uh, and that had dried out and they didn't realize that they had built their city basically in a lake basin. Well, when the, when the civilization began, it wasn't depressed. Like, yeah, it kind of depressed over to year, over time, right? Yeah, like that. This whole area on the map is actually called the Flooded Valley. So where? So would our... this massive amount of water be considered like a lake basin now? Almost well, like a it's lake. All it's all or... receded now. Oh, so it already receded back into the wall. So where's our next stop in the city? Are we? St going so this um big area here in the map uh where it says the flooded valley that whole area is just the big swamp and the city is just down on the edge of it it's so like humans used to have a city in here yeah that's... well this used to be uh -huh. an entire kingdom the flooded valley is just the remnants of it but the whole area that um is the like light brown marshy area that's the part that got flooded during the uh, uh, the big flood. Okay. And then it's receded back into the flooded flooded valley area, and even that part is not particularly deep. Like it's mostly just like marsh and bog. It's not like ten feet deep or anything. I think, <clears throat> end game as characters, we need to discuss end goals because. Uh, obviously, we started working for this guy to earn money. Um, are we still interested in continuing to earn that money? Uh, and if so, um, maybe we need to ask him what he wants us to go after next. I am in care. Uh, I would be more than happy to go travel and explore the city, um, but that's my character. He would love to just. Travel. The history of it? The history of it and find everything. I'll just take, take his wizard side. Yeah, so as the, on the druid side of my character, he could see, I could see him being interested in uh, just the natural phenomena of all this and under, coming to understand the, the cause of the flooding. Um, but I don't know that there's enough to keep him here other than the money. There's, I don't know that there's, it's interesting enough when uh, especially with all the undead, unless he was trying to reclaim the area for the living. That's the only thing I could think of. 
Okay, so on this map, uh, I think this is actually the map you started on. Just a few uh, buildings on the outskirts. The circle in the top uh, northeast there, that's the Tower of the Lost uh, Warrior. One with the magic door to get inside. It, and then it, down at the bottom of this page, there is the uh, just the tip of the barracks of the Black Banner. That's where we're at now. Yeah. That tower kind of piques my interest. Yeah, they We've already been in there. The no. tower was the place they wanted to go because they knew Wizard's Tower equals money. <laughs> There are two locked chests still down there, though, right? No, you got all the chests. Oh, I can't remember if we had gotten those unlocked with Slevin or not. Uh, what's his face? Uh, Ricky did those because he was the mage. Yeah, so, Slevin's his gamer tag, right? No, uh, it was Rusart. Oh, right, Rusart. Okay, I, I Slevin haven't played Slevin in a. Yeah, it's been a while since I played with Slevin. I was just mixing up games. Okay, um... So, on this map, um, you guys have checked out most of it. I'll just turn the DL off so you can see it. So, you're at the barracks in the middle there. That building on the northwest, that was the, uh the clerk's office that you found all the really well-preserved stuff. So you're only a few hundred feet away from that to go and get furniture or whatever you want to grab from it. Um, to the south of the barracks, there's a tower. You're not sure what that is. And then there's these other two buildings here that you haven't explored. And then the stadium. Can I roll a history check on the tower? See if I can get what it is? Um, you can try. Do, do, do. One second. I'll use my half level two on this. Do, do, do. <laughs> of course I roll a four. That is not enough to give you any kind of insight into the uh, tower. Well, you guys could go to the tower and check it out. Um, like I said, two other uh, buildings in the area that you haven't investigated, and then the big stadium to the south. Uh, to the east, on the edge there, they're actually kind of hard to see, um, but there's a, there's a circle of buildings. I don't think I have a map of it for you guys. No, but I do have the map, the bigger map of the whole area. I can stick that in Discord for you. Oh, that isn't what I thought it was. I think that might be it. Yeah, that one's got all of the area in it. And you can see there's like a ring of uh, buildings in the east there. They're right on the edge of the map here directly east of the uh, uh, barracks. Well, you do can we see wanna the do, outside edge of it. Do we want to do this kind of just building by building but we what we're close to? And you can see the water's edge there too. It's right on the edge of the map but the uh, that's where you get into the swamp part. So it's up to you guys what you want to do. Just let me know which uh, 
objective you want to check out next so I can uh, prep it for next session. How much longer do you have, Jesse? Stadium and an hour seem interesting. Um, I, uh, my mom sent me money for a cap, so I can go all the way to like 8.30, 8.45 now. Okay. I think I'm good to call it, so no. Um, I didn't get much sleep last night, but I figured we'd talk about what we'd want to do next before I got off. Okay, well, what are you interested in doing? <clears throat> we could do the tower and then the stadium, I think, is, seems interesting as well. Okay, the stadium, uh, from what you can tell, looks like it's mostly buried in sand. Oh, my night Oh, well, we can still explore the southern half and, half and see what we can find. Well, it's just a sandbar. Like, even the barracks that you're in, like a quarter of it's filled with sand. Yeah. Like, when you were trying to get into that first room, you, of course, picked the one door that was barricaded in sand out of the like six doors you could pick so you want to check out the tower and the stadium that sounds good to me okay well I got the the tower is uh is prepped so we can do that uh, whenever you guys are ready and I can have the stadium prep for the next session yeah that works for me all right then that's that then I guess I'll go get changed and get ready to go to my appointment so okay any questions before I take off nope not in here I'm good as well. I'm good. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for the session. Okay. Yeah, have a good night. See you guys later. Good luck with your appointment. Oh, he jumped off real quick. He right, wants to save to his later. cab money so that he can uh, take the bus. That's what it sounded like to me. Okay. I'll catch you guys later.